Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. Hey guys, how you doing? So today is going to be about fleet. Um, this is going to be, you know, a very useful video, I think, and I hope for, you know, upcoming GAs um, where ships are required. Um, but, you know, I got to preface this video. So I'm kind of mad about GAC being postponed slash canceled for this one. Um, this video is on the day where it should have started for attack phase, but it's actually going to get postponed which is not going to be fun. I'm going to be out of town this next or this weekend, so I would like to have just done a lot of streams and a lot of videos about it. But um, I'll try to do my best covering some stuff for you guys, but I just want to say I'm kind of bummed out about that. But today's video is going to be about my favorite um, counter, the, the Falcon Fleet, um, the meta for the, for the Akbar and, and Falcon team, and what team that I think is really, really easy to use, and what I think is going to be something you guys should look into as well. Um, there's only going to be five ships plus um, the capital ship that you guys need, so six in total. So let's just get into it, guys, and, and show you guys what it is. Okay, so this is it right here. Um, I'm going to use Thrawn <laughs> for the capital ship because um, he has a cleanse, or he has a, he has a heal. He has an AoE uh, TMR kind of thing with some speed down. And one of my favorite things is actually his special or his uh, basic rather, um, where he can call in somebody to assist. And with Ebon Hawk here, that is actually really, really, really important to have. And, you know, the special with his, his Annihilate is actually really good as well. It's always good, you know, just having a really easy Annihilate button. You just press and click and the guy's dead. So the team we're using here, besides Thrawn as a capital. Oh, and also if we Thrawn. Um, he has a built-in unique that they gain 15% extra crit chance. I think that's what it is. So the crit chance on everybody is pretty much going to be around 50% or so. And then actually they gain crit chance, uh, the buff for crit chance, once they get reinforced. So we'll go into more in-depth about the, the stuff and the strategy later on. But the team we're using here is, uh, it has Anakin's ETA. Mine is maxed with all six E mods for the testing for today. I'll show you guys all the mods later on. And then we have Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Um, my Poe is gear 12, but he has no, I don't think he has any 6 E mods on him. And then TIE Fighter, he's probably the most important to this team when you're talking about the starting, the starting, uh, you know, turns. Um, he is uh, gear 12 with a furnace. Um, this, the furnace I placed on him a long, long time ago. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary for this team to work, but he does need, like, I think it's around five out of the six 60 mods. So keep that in mind here. Um, and then the other two here, it's going to be Houndstooth as the first reinforcement and Ebon Hawk as a second. You don't need the other two here. Um, so yeah, what, what um, Houndstooth is here for is to provide a lot of the support, a lot of the extra, you know, hits that are going to be happening to him. And he has, you know, more HP and protection recovery. And he has, uh, you know, uh, pretty much a permatant almost if the breach is going to be sticking. <laughs> and uh, for Ebon Hawk. He is actually really clutch at times, and also you can kind of swap up who you want to call in first depending on what happens in the first go around here. So this is what we're going to go in for here, guys, today. I'm sorry it took a little bit long for me to explain it, but let's go into it. So what we're going to do here is just um, click off of those two. We don't need the, we don't need those two in this one, guys. Um, I will say, though, this is a coin flip. This, this, video, this video title is going to be called The Coin Flip. It really is. So here we go. You have about a, you know, let's just pause it. We have about a 55% chance of critting there with TIE Fighter. Um, if it doesn't crit, um, it's okay. I have another video showing you of what happens after he doesn't crit. But if he did crit in that scenario, um, he's going to um, crit and he's going to lose, or he's going to make uh, the, the Falcon lose all of his protection and a little bit more HP. And then Poe's going to come in right afterwards and just, you know, insta kill him. And this works versus six star and seven star with really good 60 mods also. So this is a really, really good uh, counter team to fight these Falcons for GA, for arena, and for all that sort of stuff. So next up, after we kill Falcon, this is where you put on auto, guys. Um, with just two reinforcements, this can still be played on auto. As soon as you get Houndstooth called in to reinforce, these guys are not gonna be able to do enough damage. They're not gonna be able to dispel him with Falcon there. They're not gonna be able to do enough DPS to kill him. And you're pretty much good to go here, guys. Um, I kind of want to speed this up a little bit, but I want to just, you know, talk about um, how good this team really is. I mean, this team, yes, like I said, there's a little bit of RNG at the beginning, 
But even if it doesn't, if the TIE Fighter crit doesn't land, you're still able to win and you have a really good chance of winning still. Um, because the Houndstooth AI with who he uh, attacks is actually targeted towards either Poe or TIE Fighter for the most part. And if uh, if uh, Houndstooth targets TIE Fighter with his special, he's going to make him lose 100% TM and then Anakin's going to get his bonus turn because that's just how Anakin ship works. Um, and Anakin is really, really important here. Just not, not only because he does, you know, huge, huge damage, but... His bonus turns are really, really what fuels this team, kind of. Um, and it really, really is nice, guys. Um, we just called an Evan Hawk there. And Evan Hawk, if I was to not put this on, if I, if I was trying to, you know, manu pl manually play this, I would for sure use his basics because his basics grant buffed enemies, or random buffed enemy, rather. Uh, I think it's around, like, 5, maybe 10% TM. I'm not too sure there. Per, you know, hit. So he does double tap all the time. So that's quite a bit of TM, and I think that's really useful in that situation. But this one was not a full auto, pretty much. You just, if you do crit him, you just kill him with Poe, second turn, and then you throw it on auto, you win. There is nothing to be said about that. So in this next one we're going to chat about is one where I don't crit and what type of things you guys should be looking at if he doesn't crit and what you can do to, you know, make it so you have a better chance of winning. Okay, so this next one is versus a uh, team with Biston and Biston is by far the hardest team for me at least to fight in my arena and this is a 7 star Falcon. So here we go. We are going to target Falcon first. We don't crit. It's all good. But guess what? Poke crit. And the chances of that happening are pretty good as well. But this is what I'm talking about. Let's pause it. Uh, Falcon, or not Falcon, uh, Houndstooth has um, a 2 and 3 chance of me winning that right there. If he was a target Anakin with that special, I probably would have lost it. Not going to be able to, you know, get his bonus turns there with Anakin. And having him, you know, hit TIE Fighter with his special is probably the best bet there because now Anakin got his bonus turn, we get even more damage applied to Falcon. So when he does his odd maneuverability, he's only gaining a little bit more HP back. And when I call an Ebon Hawk in a little bit, he's going to be a lot easier to melt down with his double taps on his basic. And then later on, we can call on Houndstooth and we're good to go. So, like I said, this is a very, very good chance of winning team. There's not... You know, I mean, there's RNG, but the RNG factors, there's just too much, you know, things that could be possibly going for you that uh, it's just really going to be, you know, hard to, you know, just lose all these ones. I have, I would say, around an 80, maybe 70 to 80% chance of winning all these in my, you know, climbing in every single day. Um, if, you know, you're in, using this in GE, I think it's a great idea. If you're using this in Arena, it's probably not the best. If you have a Falcon, I'd probably not use it, but in this one, we're going to just keep this one going. So... Um, we got a dodge there. We're gonna get some more TM from the capital ship because whenever he dodges He's gonna grant the Empire ship some TM Which is actually really why this works pretty well as well and then boom right there a hundred K crit from Anakin's ETA Oh, man, it's just amazing and then we can do another little AoE there 80k crits guys I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. He gets another, another bonus turn another crit Anakin's ship is really really why this works so well if um, TIE Fighter doesn't crit off the bat so now we're gonna call an Ebon Hawk here and this is where you're gonna just blitz down the Falcon and double crit, he's dead. He's gonna have around a 55% chance and then plus the 25% chance from the crit chance up buff. So that's like around 75% chance of him to crit. So it's really good chances. And that's kind of why Ebon Hawk, if you don't crit um, Falcon first turn with TIE Fighter, you should really, really call an Ebon Hawk with your first reinforcement. And then later on, you'll call on Hounds too. So. This is still with only a five-man team here. We're going to get some more foresight up, some more dodges, and now we're going to call in to reinforce Houndstooth. And this is where you put on auto, guys. Whenever you kill or whenever you kill Falcon, you're going to call in Houndstooth, and you're going to just put it on auto. That's, how, that's just how these ones work, guys. So now we've got our Annihilate up on to the Ewing on Cassians, and... This is this is really one of the toughest teams in my arena to fight. So I really, I think this is a really good showcase of it. Um, I did do this video like what was it like two to three months ago, but this team I really want to you know push out there because at this stage of the game right now, guys, we're going to be getting more ships. Um, for the negotiator for the malevolence we're gonna have a bigger ship meta there and we're gonna probably be seeing more of these type of falcon teams on defense and if you can just really just get easy banners with this team you're gonna be a lot better off for future GAs when they do require ships in the GAs so I think this will be a cool video to show you guys and hopefully you guys find it to be interesting and cool as well and all you gotta do at this point you just let you know the annihilates just happen and pretty much your house is indestructible here so it's a really fun team to use you guys and 
I just <laughs> I just love using this team. Um, I'm either using this team on my climbs or I'm using the Mace Fleet with some of my other GR ships. That works just as well. Uh, I just like using this because it's just really time. It, it's really, you know, time management wise, it's really easy. You just crit him first turn, you put on auto and you go do something else with your life. So <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy here. We're gonna just uh, kind of skip ahead because this is kind of, uh, you know, an easy kind of battle here. And there we go, Annihilate, boom. And that's about it guys, let's go check out the mods. All right, so we're gonna check out the TIE Fighter here, Imperial TIE Fighter. His mods, they are um, more, you know, taking away from other teams that I use. Like this speed one is supposed to be on Daka. These two crit ones are supposed to be on Vader. This one is, actually just I have a random one, and this one's supposed to be on Talzin. So the thing you wanna shoot for here um, is at least five of the six E's because you need his you need his speed to be up there pretty quick. You want him to be going before Poe and now we'll show you guys Poe's because he's at 197 right now for TIE Fighter. You want him to be just barely faster than Poe and Poe has a really high base speed. He's at 196 here and these are all just uh, you know normal 5e e mods. See nothing crazy here and you can um, you know you could probably make him a little bit faster but if you were to do that it would just really interfere with all the turn order, so I'd probably not recommend that, but he's gonna be at 196, TIE Fighter's at 197, and that's the most crucial part to this whole team here when you're talking about the mods and the speeds. Besides that, my Anakin, this works with a lower gear Anakin and lower star ETA. I've done this in the past. Um, it just helps getting more DPS done, you know, after they don't crit. Um, he has some good mods here, um, 182 speed, and this speed can outspeed five star falcons if somehow your your shard or somebody you're going to be fighting in the future ga doesn't have a maxed out falcon this can outspeed the falcon and it makes it even easier to beat that team um and then up next we're going to show you guys houndstooth and Ebon hawk so houndstooth is maxed out he has four 60 mods he's going to be pretty tanky here um, 95k hp 80k protection very very tanky um, that's how you pretty much can auto this one. I'm not too sure if it'll work if it's lower, um, you know, HP protection, but this is mine. Seven star pretty much maxed out. And then Evan Hawk is maxed out seven star. And I have uh, close to max out um, crew here. The stats here are pretty nice. Um, 167 speed, good HP protection, and the crit chance. Okay, so I didn't know this actually. The crit chance is actually quite low here. 25% plus a 15 from Thrawn. It's not gonna be quite 50%, but when you add in the reinforcement crit chance buff, it's gonna be pretty high as well. So the chances of you critting are actually really, really good. Um, I would like to work on my, uh, my T3 for future nuke teams for the Grievous team, but maybe that's in the future here. This is actually a really good ship. I, I really hope that um, you know you guys can work on the ship. This is a really, really awesome ship with the reinforcement here, dispelling all buffs, and then you know target lock. Um, it's really, really good cleanse um, there. So that's kind of it for my mods, guys. So uh, that's pretty much it for the video as well. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, give it a like, share, and sub. That, that really helps my channel grow, guys. Um, we're trying to hit the 3K sub goal, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. If you do, uh, you know. Share them with your guildmates, share them with, you know, all your chats and Discord, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to do, you know, daily videos for the game. Um, I love doing, I, I love doing the games, or the videos for the games, guys. It's just really, really fun to do. I'm kind of bummed out, though, about the GA not going to be happening tomorrow, but it is whatever. Um, you know, that's kind of it, though, for today's video. It's just a nice little fun fleet video that I like to use in my daily climbs, and hopefully you guys can try this out as well. Let me know how you guys think of it. So that's it for today. Go check out Discord, go check out Patreon, but that's it, and I will see you later.